All right, what's up guys, Dr. M3 here at the Lamborghini stand and the Oricon Performante behind me. These cars are all gonna be 2018 models. This car is absolutely incredible and I have to tell you this, this is the third time I'm seeing it. This is the first time in this new orange color that uh, Lamborghini has come up with, a matte orange. Now, you've all seen the Nürburgring times in the videos and there's always this, this concern and this controversy about what it is. I'm not gonna address that in this video. I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about the tech that makes this car go. Start at the front of the car, you can see this is obviously the DNA of the Oricon, but this is not your regular Oricon. This is performance oriented and there's a reason why. This is this Alice system. And you have to, to understand the Alice system, you have to understand what it's doing. The car has the ability through its computers to control the downforce and the cornering capabilities at each corner of the car. And how is it done? It's done with this Alice system. It's the Aerodynamic Lamborghini Activa. That's ALA. Let's look down low what exactly is going on. So if you look at the low end of the car, you can see the forged carbon, which is extra strength, and it's designed for extra strength because the active arrow, the flap that allows the air to go into the car and sort of create either more or less downforce on the front of the car is here. All good computer control. If you move along to the other side of the car, see some upgrades. Um, they have new forged wheels uh, on this car. There are two styles of the conventional wheels and then there is a center lock uh, wheel as well. Looking externally, you can see some of the race-inspired performance features and design of the car. Um, the uh, bottom part of the car here, which is painted gloss, is a part of the style package, which includes the uh, external mirrors in gloss black. This is normally uh, in uh, matte, uh, uh, matte black. And Performante is standard, that's painted. Um, and uh, this is a sticker of the flag on the side. Now where the real business of this car happens is on the back end of the car. Let's take a look. So what Lamborghini has done has patented this amazing technology that allows it to vector the car, particularly in cornering, and when you need high speed, low drag situations. So air is flowing over the cars and there are two intakes that are here. The first intake, the one that's closest to the center of the car, is for cooling the exhaust. The magic happens from the outer intake, which is located right here. And what that does is it, through small electrically controlled servos, not hydraulically controlled servos, so you mean you can actually modify this in a snap. The air comes in through these intakes, through the vertical portion of the wing, and the wing is an upside down, it's an inverted wing, okay? And so when the flaps open, um, you have air coming in, and there are slats that are here that are under the wing. And you can independently control what side. So if you're making a right bank, these are closed, those are open, creates more vectoring of the car to sort of move it around a track. That really reduces time, increases stability of the car. So you can control those independently. Now if you want maximum speed, you want air flowing all the way through. When you want maximum downforce, those are closed and it presses down on the back of the car. We also have the ability to independently also control the front. So again, that also creates the additional stability in the car. On the rear end, the exhaust is now moved upwards into the center and you can see they're large. We heard these exhausts at one of the openings and it was absolutely unbelievable. This entire rear diffuser is in fact forged carbon. The lower parts are actually uh, painted, but the centerpiece that you see here is going to be in, in gloss. Unique to the LP640, the Performante, and a way to distinguish it from the other Oricons is the Planum. The engine cover is in gold, and that's how you know you have a 640 on your hands. 